All right, good afternoon one and all. Welcome to the video. In this video, I would be talking about select2.js. So what I mean by that is uh, it gives you very nice input field and gives all the suggestion and you can do a lot of things by the way. So for example, this way, actually I'm just gonna show you here one and then we'll dive into complete tutorial, okay? So I'm gonna say M-U-L, M-U-L, T-I, multiple, multiple, uh, set it to true. Okay, so now let me show you what happens is I'm gonna refresh that. So I can keep adding multiple things here. You can see nice, amazing, right? You see all this automatically is giving you, right? So let's learn how to even do that, right? So let's um, get started. So the first thing that you need to do is basically we need the CDN for select2.js. So I'm gonna get the CDN from right here. You can also, um, of course, go to the official website and uh, I would basically show you that as well. So, so of course, like go to Google, Okay, so select 2.js, you can go to get started and here, basically, if you go to installation, you should have the basic CDN. Okay, so I have that. I have a basic input field, uh, which has a class called as prompt, right? Here is where I wanna basically, whenever user types something, I wanna give like suggestions, but in a nice way. Of course, uh, you can do Ajax and all stuff. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that. And the button handler, basically whenever you click on submit button, that value, whatever was selected should be shown to the person or you know, whatever you wanna do. One thing to important note is here, the format of the data should be this way only. I mean, uh, it should be ID, there should be ID should be an index, text should be whatever you wanna display on the text field. This is how it should be, right? Um, so what you gotta do is basically, first of all, you would select the input field. So let me actually zoom out. So dollar dot prompt, we're selecting via class and we say select to. So once you do that, it takes various attributes. So I'm gonna talk about all of these uh, in, 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 in a while. So data is equal to content, which is basically, uh, I'm right now doing it a static data, okay? Um, so data is equal to content. Minimum input length is one. That means this will be only triggered when you enter one character or two character. Let's change this to two, for example, for now, width as 100%. Multiple is equal to true. Basically, as I said, if you select this, it allows you to give, select multiple uh, options, you know. Placeholder basically gives you a placeholder, what you wanna display to the user. And basically template, I'm gonna talk about the template uh, in a while. So I'm gonna, I'm, let, me, let me talk about a template. So template is basically, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm passing it a function. Now you might be seeing what the hell this guy is doing. So before, I mean, let me actually do a console.log here so I can show you what exactly it's coming from. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna refresh, I'm gonna open my Chrome browser, um, inspect element, go to console. And um, uh, as soon as I say SO, if you see, it's giving me a dictionary. So it for each element, it's, it's gonna give you like um, a dictionary. So if you wanna grab the text attribute, you can say dot text. So what you can do is if you wanna style this in your way, what I can do is we can also uh, give HTML elements, for example. So a P tag, where basically I'm saying text.text. .text. Text, text is basically the name, all the names, right? So basically all these names, right? So text.text, text, right? Pretty cool, easy. Uh, if you wanna, you know, uh, I can also say padding left. So if you wanna pad it a little bit, you can do all of that funky CSS stuff, whatever you wanna do. So this is how you would do it. You can add an image icon, a fav icon and stuff like that. So you pass the template result and you would pass the function right there. Okay, so that's it. I mean, it's just done, right? So um, let me show you again. Oh, actually I gotta refresh this. So now, as soon as I enter two character, then only this will be fired because you did say a minimum equals to two. And if you said multiple, it allows you to select multiple, right? It allows you, you can cancel it right there. Now, what I did is basically, I had a button right here, right? Whenever anyone clicks, I want the value. How do I get the value from select selectu.js? So basically I have an A tag, kind of a button, on click, button handler. 
Now the way you would do it, uh, do this is basically you would say dollar dot prompt. So you would select your input element. So whatever, if you have given an ID, select it by ID or whatever. So once you uh, do that, so dollar dot prompt, you would say select to, and you would pass data into that. So the data basically will give you the data. Now remember, it's a, it's basically an array. So I'm gonna grab the first attribute from the array. So go inside that array. I actually showed you right how it looks like, but I can again um, show you. So your concepts are cleared. Console.log, how can say data. Okay, let's say SOML. Actually, you know what, I gotta refresh my screen. So if I do a submit button, of course the alert, you see it's an array. So I have to go inside that array and then it's a dictionary. So these are the attributes, right? So what do you have to do? That's the reason I said data zero dot text. Okay, so, so far so good, right? So basically whenever you select any attribute here, you would get the name right here. You can do anything, you can send it to database and stuff like that. One more thing I wanted to show for beginners is basically they always have this problem. If you have a custom JSON data, um, by the way, for more details, you can uh, dive deep into the documentation. Uh, you can also do an Ajax call here. What I wanna teach you is basically, is basically if you have a JSON document, which is not formatted and you need to format it. Now I, I, I saw a lot of people had this issue, right? So that's the reason I wanna cover this part as well. So I wanna cover a little bit of JavaScript basics here for you guys. So assume you have some JSON. And you wanna format it this way, okay? So how the hell do I do that? I mean, I'll teach you guys, okay? So let me actually take two examples here, two samples. Okay, this is pretty good. Um, let's call this JSON. What you want to do is basically you want to do a dollar each. So this is the this is the way I do it usually. Um, if I want to do it, so var JSON. You can use also a map function, but I like to do things old old school. So you say dollar each. Uh, pass in the array. In my case, it's um, JSON, right? Now um, uh, this takes a function. Uh, this function will take name and of course it's oh sorry my bad the first attribute is usually the index and the second attribute is value okay so dollar each now console because I want to teach you properly so if I do index and if I just do value just want to show you how it comes out okay so let's refresh hmm, hold on something dollar each JSON. oh not json ah damn it <laughs> let's call it temp this should fix okay so um so here you can see zero and then you have the dictionary or you have a json now you want to transform that right so this is the way i do it i mean how whatever you want to do it i mean this is the way i do it so temp is equal to this now, what I'll do is, you know, uh, I'll mimic the format of this. So I know, okay, so it's an ID and I'm gonna pass your index and then I had uh, text. This is the format, um, okay? So text, right? So the text would be the value. Now value is a dictionary, so you'll say value dot name, okay? Once that is done, what you wanna do is basically you wanna append each of these into a temp temp dot push push and you want to push basically temp i should call this vector better name okay so this is the way i do it okay once you have done this right what do you want to do now you have to again convert into a format right so you would say var final final json if you read the documentation uh, okay this is your final json that you should so 
so console.log and let's do final json let me make sure that i don't have any more statements here making sure this is a little clean because i'm gonna provide you guys the snippet so you it'll be helpful for you guys so okay so vector.push then you do final json console.log final json uh, this is of course the code um so let me see yeah that's it so this is how you would transform the data okay okay so follow these steps um let me show you um so here you can see result and then result is an array now also let me show you that uh, the documentation because it's kind of hard for some new people uh, beginners absolutely so if you go to data so you see result this is the format they wanted so th this is exactly what we did here so yeah I mean, uh, for more details, you can come here and uh, see the documentation. If you want to do Ajax call in this, uh, let me also cover that since um, it's simple guys, what you can do is your Ajax and now start doing your Ajax here, your URL, uh, some URL, whatever. Then what was that type, type, post, whatever, what was that? I don't know, post and then you would say data, give your data attributes, whatever. So you can do that and then you just transform the data and return the JSON. Okay, so I hope this would be a very nice tutorial for you guys to get started with uh, select2.js. Um, I had a lot of difficulties while I was doing it for the first time, had to do a lot of stack overflow because, oh, how do I get the data? Oh, how do I do this? How do I do that? Oh man, crazy. So yeah, that's a small tutorial on selected.js. Have questions, you can post it in the comment. And by just to let you know, I'm not an expert in front end, I'm just learning. So whatever I learn, I, I'll teach you guys. I'll leave the snippets on my description so you guys can check it out. If you guys have any more questions, kindly let me know by doing that in the comment section below. And as usual, keep smiling, keep coding. See you guys next time.